hello everyone uh, welcome to this video session so in this video we are going to look at how to create a topology so what i am going to do is i am going to create two lens and connect the two lens using a router so let's create the topology first so here is the router mm, let's rename it to router and i am placing two switches one for lan 1 another for lan 2 so let's say switch 1 so this is switch 2 and this is switch 1 now we are going to create end devices that is pcs okay now let's connect them so i am using the to automatically choose connection type this lightning bolt so it is used to connect the devices automatically so there is no need to select the ports on each device it will connect automatically so same thing on the right hand side and connecting the switch to router right so this left hand side thing is lan 1 okay similarly we are going to name this right sub network as lan 2 okay so i have created two lens using switches and connected both lens to the router okay so now you can see red triangles between the router and switches right that is because we didn't configure the router that is we didn't assign any ip address okay so the ip address i am going to assign to the left interface is 192.168. Zero dot one, and to the right interface, I am going to assign ten dot zero dot zero dot one. Okay, so let's do this. Go to Config tab for the GUI configuration. Click on the left hand side under the interface. Click Gigabit Ethernet zero slash zero. So the IP address I am going to give is this one. So one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot 0.1 subnet mask will come automatically and don't forget to turn on the port okay don't forget to turn on the port similarly do the same thing for the next interface where the ip address is 10.0.0.1 subnet mask and turn on okay and now you can see that uh, red triangles are gone and green triangles came Okay, now communication is ready. <clears throat> I mean, the network is ready for communication. Okay, so now we have to assign IP addresses to all the PCs. Okay, so click on each PC, go to desktop, IP, and for the PCs on the left hand side, the IP addresses will be class C IP addresses. Okay, right. Second PC IP configuration zero dot three. Third PC IP configuration zero dot four. Similarly for the right hand side PCs class A IP addresses because the network is ten dot zero dot zero dot two is the IP address. And And dot zero dot zero dot three. Okay, 
and for the last piece is 0 0.4 okay and now let's try to go into the simulation mode uh, before going to start the simulation i am removing all the filters and i want to enable only the icmp packets okay right now i am clicking on pdu selecting pc0 as the source and pc5 as destination now let's run the simulation so now you can see at pc0 that the packet is not being forwarded okay so why why is this happening is because whenever we are using a router in the network we need to tell the pc that the packet should go through router to another network okay so the left hand side lan is one network and uh, right hand side lan is another network so when there are two networks which are using different ip ranges or uh, different uh, let's say ip addresses uh, then we need to connect the networks using a router okay and for the pc to know uh, i mean through which device the packet should go through another network that we need to specify in the pc so click on the pc ip configuration and now we need to specify the default gateway so the default gateway will be the ip address of the router which is this one so i am giving the same here 0 0.1 okay just copy it and give it to remaining pcs also default gateway same 0 0.1 and for the third PC, default gateway, 0 0.1. Okay. Now let's remove this packet. Come back to real time mode. And for the right hand side also, do the same thing. IP configuration, gateway. But this time, the IP address of the right hand side interface that the router is 0 0.0.1. Okay. So be careful while assigning all the IP addresses and default gateways. Even if you do a small mistake, the network is not going to work. Okay. 10 dot 1. Okay. So the default gateway for PC0, PC1, PC2 is this one. And default gateway for PC3, PC4, and PC5 is this IP address, which is uh, which are the IP addresses of the router. Now let's try to go into the simulation. Now we add a PDU. Source is PC0. Destination is PC5. So now it is going to switch from PC0. And from switch it is going to router. And when I click next it is going to right, uh, right hand side switch. And from the switch it is going to destination. Now the reply will come back in the same path. Okay. It went to the switch switch to router, router to source switch and from source switch to source PC. Okay. So the transmission is over. It is, it was successful. You can see here in the bottom window, it is successful. Okay. So this is how you create topology uh, where you will connect uh, different LANs using a router. So that's it for this session. Thank you.